Okay, now we've made it to week four, uh, and this week we're going to be tackling a new key, actually two new keys. We're going to be starting out uh, in B-flat major and working up the fretboard, and then we'll be coming down uh, in A major. But again, these diatonic seventh chords are exactly the same. Um, we're going to add another level of difficulty this week by incorporating triplets into our picking pattern. So we're essentially just going to be moving up and down the drop two chord shapes in triplets, and uh, this is very difficult, but very good for you <laughs> when you're flat picking. So for example, um, what you might want to do is, is, is just sort of get the shapes with your fretting hand first so you know where you're going. So we're starting with major seven, minor seven, minor seven, major seven, just like we have in the previous weeks. And once uh, you can sort of get the fretting hand on autopilot, then you can really focus on um, picking those triplets with your picking hand. And it's just going to be low to high. So we have... And you may even want to uh, initially practice the triplet figure with just one shape at a time. So you may just want to you know, do a major seven shape. Um, one thing of note, in, in, to play these as single notes, um, you may want to practice almost sort of a bouncing staccato technique with your fretting hand so it doesn't sound like this, in other words. And that's fine if that's what you want to achieve musically, but if you'd like to have these notes be staccato, then what you need to do is essentially just release the pressure right after you pick each note. Release the pressure with your fretting hand. So what I'm doing really slowly is this. And you'll see that after I uh, pick the note, as soon as I get to the next note, I release the pressure. Not, not too far off, so you don't want to have any open strings ringing, but that's the difference essentially in the sound between this and just holding all of the fingers down versus this. So you're playing the chord almost as if you were playing a lead figure. Uh, as, as soon as you're done with it, your finger just sort of rolls off of the string and then the um, picking hand can also help by muting out the strings that you're not playing at the time. So in this example, you are going to be moving up the neck in the key of B flat and then um, we're going to come to home in 13th position with the B flat seventh, B flat major seventh, excuse me. And then we're just going to drop down a half step into the new key of A major and then work through the diatonic seventh chords of A major uh, descending down the fretboard. But it will be the exact same picking pattern whether you're playing with a, a flat pick or finger style. Okay, we've made it to week four. Here's the example using the triplet rhythms. We're going to start out in the key of B flat and then move down a half step in the key of A. Our metronome is still set at quarter note equals 100. Here we go. One, two, three, and... <laughs> Forms. Here's the first one, C7 sus4. The next chord is C6. There's a couple of different ways you can figure this, and the notation it says 2, 3, 1, 4. If that's too much of a stretch, then you can simply go 1, 3 move over to get the first finger on the second fret, pinky, and back down. The third chord is C minor 6. Then C minor major 7. And finally C major 7 sharp 5. Now we're on 
example two in the extra credit section, working through the diatonic seventh chords, drop two voicings for C melodic minor. Uh, I'm going to do these without a metronome and play them a lot slower, um, so I'll just sort of play them freely in tempo. Here we go. Example two. Okay, now we've made it to example three for the extra credit section, and this one involves directional picking uh, using the chords of F major seven, the diatonic seventh chords of the key of F. Um, what you may want to do, again, practice each individual chord shape with a figure, just to, to start out very slow, but just to get the feel of it, so we're using all downstrokes followed by an upstroke. <laughs> gradually build up speed. So the example is playing just one chord at a time, but feel free to play it each chord as many times as you need to to get a good exercise out of it. Here's example three. 